pleased to have with me Dr. Sanjeev Khurd. Dr. Sanjeev Khurd is a director at Dr. Khurd Infertility Endoscopy Surgery and IVF Center at Pune. Doctor, welcome for AICOG TV. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, we are going to have a discussion on ovulation trigger, when and how. So, sir, uh, when do you need ovulation trigger? We need ovulation trigger to mimic the natural ovulation. And there are three occasions we would need it, especially if you want to time the intercourse, if you want to time the IUI, the intrauterine insemination, and especially in IVF programs, when you want to have the final maturation of the oocyte. So these are three occasions where we would require the ovulation trigger. So which drugs do you use for ovulation trigger? Ovulation trigger can be given by using recombinant LH. So that apparently would appear logical. Substitute for LH, recombinant LH would be the human chorionic gonadotropin, the HCG. And the third is the GnRH agonist. So these are three drugs that possibly can be used as ovulation trigger. Okay, very well said sir. So what do you think are the, there are the strengths and weaknesses of these drugs? Yes, recombinant LH apparently appears to be logical. But unfortunately, trials have shown that recombinant LH has higher rate of OHSs. And not only that, it is exorbitantly costly. So therefore, it is not used in clinical practice. The, sec the best that and the most popular is the human chorionic gonadotropin because it is 87% homologous to the LH so it has all the actions which LH normally would do secondly it is cost effective the only disadvantage is that it can cause ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome in patients who are prone especially women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome and that is the time you would use GnRH agonist as a trigger. Right. So, uh, as I understand, sir, that uh, in case of uh, ovulation trigger, we can use gonadotropins, recombinant as well as uh, highly purified urinary uh, products. Though recombinant LH is the uh, main dominant molecule, but we'll end up using human chorionic gonad gonadotropin yes. because of its acids in our yes. practice. Another, so what would be the key message that you would yes. like to give for this uh, ovulation trigger? Another thing trigger? In, uh, uh, talking about human chorion gonadotropin because we have both the conventional or the traditional human chorion gonadotropin as well as the recombinant and studies have shown that both are equally effect, uh, effective in uh, causing oocyte maturation. Yes. So uh, uh, there is no advantage of having a recombinant. Right. Yes. So, if we have to take a key take home message, then yes. we can derive the message that both urinary as well as recombinant products are equally, are equally effective. effective for ovulation trigger yes. in your IVF or IUI yes. practice. And they, the doses for these range between 5000 international units to 10,000 international units. And what must be remembered that 250 micrograms of recombinant is equivalent to 6500 of the urinary. urinary right. So, in case you are using recombinant, a dose of 250 would be sufficient. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for giving us so, so such a wonderful insights on ovulation trigger. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for your precious time and Thank wish you. you all the best for the next 3-4 days of the conference. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you.